In this video I'm going to show you a little shortcut and why it why it works uh, for finding the marginal rate of substitution for any Cobb-Douglas utility function. And you've seen these functions before. Utility equals some x to the some exponent and y to some exponent. Where in this case we're thinking about x and y being two goods giving you utility. The same trick works even if this is a, a production function. There are Cobb-Douglas production functions. Q equals x to some a times y to some b. Typically a and b will be less than 1, but that's not really important for what we're doing right now. If we want to find the marginal rate of substitution of x for y, what's the slope of an indifference curve, we take the marginal utility of x and divide it by the marginal utility of y. Now to find the marginal utility of x and y, you, you take the partial derivative with respect to x and then the partial derivative with respect to y, and so we're going to end up with something like this. Multiply by the exponent times x to the a minus 1 because we subtract 1 from the exponent times y to the b. That doesn't change since it's a partial derivative. Uh, that's the marginal utility of x. Marginal utility of y equals b times y to the, well I didn't mean to put the y there, multiply the whole thing by the b. Let me just write down x to the a, I want to keep these in the same order, times y to the b minus 1. We're going to subtract 1 from that exponent on the y this time. Now the marginal rate of substitution just says divide those two functions. So what are we going to end up with when we divide these two functions? Let's write it over here. Marginal rate of substitution of x for y equals. We know there's going to be an a over b in here somewhere. a over b. The second part, since everything's multiplied, we can look at these columns and then multiply them all together when we're done. x to the a minus 1 divided by x to the a, you subtract those exponents. And so what we're left with is just an x to the minus 1, because a minus 1 minus a is just minus 1. So we're going to be left with an x to the minus 1, which is the same thing as x in the denominator. And here we have a y to the b over a y to the b minus 1. And so we're, what we're going to end up with here is y to the b minus so it's b minus b minus 1. What are, what's going to happen to those exponents? b minus b minus 1. You have to distribute that minus sign, and you're going to get b minus b plus 1. And so what you're going to end up with as an exponent is plus 1 on a y in the uh, numerator there, so y. So no matter what the exponents are on the Cobb-Douglas utility function, the marginal rate of substitution is going to be a very simple, simple looking function. It's just going to be a over b, the exponent on the x divided by the exponent on the y, times y over x. So very simple. Let's, let's just do one very, very quickly here. Suppose someone threw this at you. Utility equals x to the point 2 times y to the point 4, for example. Okay, no problem. The marginal rate of substitution of x for y equals 0.2 over 0.4, a over b, times um, y over x. And you can simplify this. 0.2 over 0.4 is the same as 1 over 2, the same ratio, so that's just y over 2x. All right, let's just do one more to make sure that you, you have it. You pause the video and do it rather than just watching. Uh, last one, suppose we gave you the utility function u equals x to the point 7 times y to the point. Pause the video and tell me what the marginal rate of substitution is. Okay, well, very simply, the marginal rate of substitution that you'll get here is, and this is if you go through all these steps the long way, you can verify that you're going to end up with a over b which is 0.7 over 0.1 times y over x. So 0.7y over 0.1x, which is the 7y 
over x. That's your marginal rate of substitution function. This is going to be an indispensable skill because if, if we have to go through and for every single utility function we have to go through and take the derivatives and do the ratio this is going to take us forever to do problems but once you see this little simple trick it makes things much much less painless and we're going to use this trick in the next video.